Hello everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of Murder First Sight Season 15 Episode 2. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows, reality shows, and reactions. If you're returning, you one of my peoples? Oh, welcome back. So we don't have any comments from last week, so we're going to jump right on into this one. Now, before we get into these things, my allergies is just acting up something fiercely, so there will be some sniffing going on. Now, these next few these next few reviews of Married at First Sight, it's just basically them getting married and picking out their wedding dresses. So it's these reviews is gonna be short. Once they get to the honeymoon and them moving in together, and we get to see how it is being with somebody that I just freshly met and now we gotta like co-mingle with each other that's when the things are gonna get juicy but Stasia and Nate are the um two the next ones get married and at first Stasia she was kind of giving off some Ho Jose energy when she was like yes I put myself through school I have two degrees and I was like it was giving so much Jose from season 13 Except, you know, she didn't have her vision board, her expense board, you know, her monthly income board. Like, I spend this, 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 that much I make. I don't have no mortgage because, you know, I paid my houses off. This is how much from a cell phone, this from electricity, all that. She was, like, some on the, like, the bragging part of it. But, like, hey, boo, you did that by yourself. Go ahead, brag about it. But it was, like, it was somewhat coming off as Jose. These two ended up giving each other a Polaroid. And, you know, they just had to show the um, James Allen. This is the dog. No, that's too big. We gonna... This is the jewelry box. Oh, my goodness. Look at my ring from Jane, uh, from James Allen. It's like perfectly. It's like I wonder how many times when she was showing that box. It's like, okay, now this time make sure the box is tilted just a little bit and discipline. Yes, yes, right there, right there. You know, they, James, they, um, I, yeah. And I was like, how many times per episode are they obligated to say James Allen as well as show the box, the ring box with the logo on it? Just wondering. But child, these two was both going through it. Like, she's back or like, oh my goodness. It was almost like, I'm going to be a runaway bride. Because, like, how come ain't nobody talk me out of this? She was almost on this. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. This is just plum crazy. Why is nobody stopping me? This is not me. What is going on? He, at the doggone, um, at the altar, talking about some, man, this is crazy. Like, am I really doing this? And I'm like, I wonder if the people in the audience can hear him. Or, you know, not. I was just wondering. But, you know, once she gets to walking down the aisle, he's like, yeah, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. He just seems happy that she's not ugly. Yeah. We found out during her ready, during their um, vows that she sleep her eyes open. Now, I didn't know that was a thing until I was like in my teenage years. I was spinning out of my cousin's house. And her eyes was open. So I assumed that, hey, she was awake. So I'm talking. I'm not, like, looking at her. I'm, like, talking to her while I'm watching TV. And finally, she's like, why are you, why are you messing with me? I'm trying to sleep. I was like, your eyes is open. I thought she was awake. She's like, oh, no. I, my eyes be open when I'm sleeping. Excuse me? Yeah, so I guess, you know, that's the thing. Didn't know it. Been a whole five-minute conversation talking to her. She wasn't even awake. But, like, Stasia, she talking about some, she's the happiest she's been in her life. And I'm like, um, ma'am, you've known him 45 minutes. 45 minutes, ma'am. Y'all said y'all vows, and y'all danced and talked just a little bit, but you the happiest you've been in your whole entire life? Okay. That, that's what she said. This is the happiest she's been in her entire life. After meeting her new husband for 45 minutes. Okay. 
Alexis and Justin, they're having their first dance and taking their pictures. And I was like, we can tell his height is an issue for her because she keeps on bringing up like, oh my goodness, you're so tall. You're six eight. I'm like, to me, yeah, that's tall. I am five two and a half. So just about, a, a, there's a, a, a lot of people who are taller than me, but six eight, that's tall. There was this dude that worked my, with my mom. He was 6'9", and everybody called him 6'9". I was like, I stopped <laughs> growing when I was 10. Yes, I've had this body since I was 10 years old. Well, this height since I was 10 years old. But anyways, she's smiling and everything, and she's seeming happy. And everything was going good until he said he was celibate. celibate. And then she was like, Rrr. and I was like... Maybe he was being celibate until, you know, while he was going through this process. He, I don't remember how long he said he'd been celibate, but now she's like, is he going to be celibate with me? Now, I don't know how true it is, but I, well, I don't say I don't know how true it is, but apparently on the after show, which I am not watching, that he had a full-on girlfriend and still had his girlfriend when he got married and that the girlfriend was going to find out that he got married and to the episode aired. And I was like, I hope that is not true. Like, I was going to watch the after show, but, like, these episodes is two hours long. I, and then I don't have my DVR anymore because I don't, I no longer have Kayla. I got Philo. But something told me during the doggone commercials, if I could fast forward, and lo and behold, I can fast forward through the commercial because I was like, they like you spending twenty five dollars a month. We gon we gon throw in about four commercials every few minutes, and these commercials gonna be like a minute long. So yeah, you gonna get these commercials. And I was like, bro, I was like, let me go ahead and zip on through and wait till I can see them pop back up and bam, I'm good. So um, Morgan and Ben. I'm I'm wondering how things are going to work out for him because he is a mama's boy and he wants his wife's personality to be close like his mama's personality. Now, y'all, me and my mama are close. I talk to my mama several, I call her several times a day. She called me several times a day. My mama calls my grandma several times a day. My grandma calls my mama several times a day. But we close. But this man over here talking about some discussing this sex life with his mama. He talking about some once he gets done having sex, he going to call his friend and he going to call his mama. I don't know why they need to know what you was doing with your wife. It seemed weird to me that like my mind just went to you just got done having sex. You roll over to your phone and you get to discussing it with his mama. That's what I, I imagine him doing. But <clears throat> she gets Morgan gets a call from Dr. Pepper, and the wedding has been postponed because Miss Rona then got Ben. Now Morgan, she's starting to question some things like, does Miss Rona really have him, or does he have cold feet? I was like, I would hope he wouldn't lie about that because that is something serious. Okay. Lindy and Miguel, they seem to be hitting off. She's a physical therapist and she has the option to where she can just work for like however long she wants, stack her money and just go on vacation. Like I would say like a freelance um physical therapist. So like I can just like work for however long I want to. Say I wanna work for like six months straight and just stacking in money and then I can just go on vacation for like a month or two and since um Miguel he is a medical writer all she needs is wi-fi he's like okay cool and she wasn't put off about him playing Dungeons and Dragons like I have I, I think I may have heard about Dungeons and Dragons like from Big Bang Theory but, like, Stranger Things is really where, like, Dungeons and Dragons, they talk about it often. 
I don't want to talk about this last season because, like, I'm still upset about it. And I'm pretty sure if you watched season four, you was upset as well. But, yeah, and now I got to wait, like, we got to wait, like, two years for it. That's one bad thing about Netflix shows. You got to wait, like, a whole year. And since the whole panorama is going on, it's probably going to take, like, two years. Yeah. But, yeah, hopefully we soon get along. She wouldn't put off about him playing Dungeons and Dragons. So that's cool. Yeah, I was wondering what was this white stripe on Mitch's head. Like, at first, I thought it was, like, the sun shining through, but now then he moved, and I was like, what's going on there? Apparently, he was out here um, on his board, and he hit his head. But, like, he is a complainer. He talking about something. He don't like that his beard is all short like that. But I'm like, sir, you, you, you got a whole ball situation going on, like, back here. And that's one thing I never did understand. Like, man... You clearly got more baldness going on than you got hair. Why are you holding on to those few pieces of hair? Why? It looks worse that you're holding on to that hair instead of cutting it off. But anyway, it seems like they did, like, shave it down some. Yeah. See, I was wondering how things was going to work between Kristen. And, like, was she going to... You know, she didn't tell her daddy that she was getting married. She was going to wait till the day of. And my mind was like, was she going to walk in in her wedding dress and be like, I know this was supposed to be just a matchmaking ceremony situation, but they found me somebody two weeks ago. But the thing is, I'm really getting married to a stranger. Are you walking me down the aisle? And daddy's like, this is insane. And I was like, I mean, kind of, sort of, in a way, it is. But it's like I was, like, I was trying to figure out how was things gonna go because I thought he was just gonna like she was gonna be like meet me here and he go in a room and go into a room and as soon as he walk in, there's a producer, there's people with dog on the microphone, there's sound man, there's a light man, there's somebody walking towards him with a release for him. I was wondering how that was gonna go, but she told him that you know she was in a, a matchmaking service that she was going to find something that was matchmaking for her. I mean, that was sort of not really a lie. It's just that they was matchmaking you for a husband that you ain't never seen before. But the daddy, he was he looked kind of nervous, like, you brought me here for this mess? This this is what we're doing? So yeah, that was a just, if I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on. So my beautiful face puts my video. You can click on it. You can like it and share with your people. And you can come over and be one of my people. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my people by clicking that icon above. This is Lady 279. Have a good one.